Hey guys, it's Ross, and today we're going to be planting some trees. And it's real nice to be able to plant some trees for you all with somebody filming me, because it's next to impossible with just myself. Uh, I know, tripods exist, but I have trouble with those. Anyway, uh, we have an Asian, we have an American persimmon here, which is quite hardy. Um, and what I want to do is tell you guys exactly how I'm going to be planting these, talk about the mulching process. I'll make this real simple for you. Now, before I get into that, I want to just mention that depending on where you live, this could be a totally different process. Planting a tree is very different depending on where you live, depending on your conditions, depending on your microclimate. You know, I can plant a tree different in this location than I would in the middle of the yard. So it really depends on where you live, where the location is. You know, you may live in a dry place, but you have it in an area, you're planting a tree in an area that gets a lot of water. So maybe, you know, you would do things differently depending on where it is. Here, this is a pretty wet area of my yard. It's also just wet in general here, you know? We're on a decline. Uh, it goes up this way and goes down this way. So we get a lot of water here. And I know that this tree, as an example, really doesn't need a whole lot of water. In fact, excess water for a lot of fruit trees, guys, can actually lead to lower bricks, lower amounts of sugar. So I wanna raise this up. I wanna put this in more of a mound, and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So we've already dug out our holes. And the hole, for me, wasn't that deep, okay? I didn't go crazy with the hole. You could go crazy with this hole. You can dig this hole, you know, two to three times the width of this, uh, this potted tree here. You can also go really deep. But for me, I don't go to those crazy lengths. We have very, uh, we have a pretty decent soil here. It's quite heavy though. It holds a lot of nutrients. It holds a lot of water. So I don't really need to add any nutrients. I don't need to add any water. Tomorrow we're gonna get an inch of rain. So I don't need to water this thing in. So I'm doing this the easiest way I know, which is literally just sticking this tree in the ground and covering it with soil. So that's what we're gonna do. We take the sod here and we're gonna put the sod upside down so that we can kill that grass. And we're literally just throwing dirt over top of this. I've never lost a tree by doing this. In fact, I don't even water my in-ground trees because when I plant my trees, I do it at a time that it's cloudy, usually, and there's rain in the forecast. So if you do that, it's fall here. Make sure your tree's straight. I didn't do that, guys. But you gotta make sure it's fall or the spring. If you're doing this in the summer, I know a lot of you guys get this weird bug to grow fruit trees or plant things in the summer. And I get messages all the time. It's like, I, I commend you guys for your, you know, you wanna be, you're excited for all this stuff, but don't do it then, okay? It's now the fall here. Mid-September is when here in Pennsylvania, in the Philadelphia area, things really start to cool down. So we're still a bit warm, but it's nice that we're warm because we're gonna get some active growth that this tree is gonna put on. A lot of the root system is gonna develop before November, our first frost. So we're just, you know, picking literally the best time in my mind, in my experience, to plant a fruit tree here in this area. So it's gonna differ for you guys. And you can do this um, all the way up until frost. Some of these trees you can plant when it's cold. Uh, you just have to make sure that you can get into the ground because sometimes if it's too cold, the ground will freeze, right? Anyway, so we did this. We covered the root system. We got the tree situated in a nice way. Some people, what they'll do is, guys, is that they'll situate the graft in a way that's not gonna break depending on where the wind comes from, uh, perhaps even the sunlight. And I think I'm okay with how this graph is situated. Not a huge deal, but something to think about. And now what we're gonna do, guys, because we planted this tree here, we planted this persimmon here, they're quite close together, right? We're gonna have to do some severe pruning, kind of get these trees um, the way we want them. You know, this isn't for 
someone that doesn't know what they're doing, you got to be on top of the pruning, guys. Especially if you want to do it high density. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this straw and literally just make a bed. We're going to cover all of the ground here, guys. Especially the tree. But we're going to cover a lot of the sod and hopefully kill the sod. And then that way, we can create a nice little area here that I don't have to go crazy digging holes or digging up the sod. You know, this is a real nice lazy man way of doing this. And what this is going to do additionally, this is the most important step, by the way. If you got this far, congratulations. But this is the most important thing I talked about in the entire video. So without this stuff, I'm going to have to water my trees. Without this stuff, we may run into a problem where this tree doesn't grow nearly as quickly. Uh, it could be stunted. Maybe it could get too warm, depending on where you guys live. This really regulates the soil temperature and regulates the soil moisture. And my girlfriend, who is a tree tender in Philadelphia, she recommends not to put the mulch around the base of the tree, the trunk of the tree, which is definitely a good idea. You don't want to have excess moisture up against the trunk, which could rot the bark. You rot the bark, you kill the tree. So we're just going to do this today, guys, and that's it. We're just going to cover this whole area with as much straw as we can get in here. And over time, guys, we're going to cover this whole area with not just straw. We're going to get wood chips in here. Anything that comes out of any of my garden beds, any of my tree trimmings that I have in my peaches or any of my other in-ground trees, it's going to go right here. And we're going to build this soil up for about two or three years. And that is going to make a huge, huge difference with these trees. So the other thing I guess I want to leave you guys with is that you want to make sure that your trees are in a position to get sunlight. Sorry for the car, guys. I think that was my dad. <laughs> but uh, anyway, these trees here, you want to make sure they're in the right position, right? So in this particular area, we're quite shaded. Um, this is not really the ideal location to be planting fruit trees. We're pretty much underneath a 40, 50 foot shade tree. But this is what I'm limited to, right? This is where I can plant my trees. And I have to make use of what can be in this space. So persimmons actually, and, and pears, actually can do pretty well in about six hours of light. You may not get as much uh, size to them. You may not get the fruit set that you're looking for. But these trees will do quite well here. Um, but it's really important to know the spacing. You kind of make sure that these trees are going to be in their appropriate location. So if you're thinking about this from your location and you're looking at me and you're looking at these trees, this tree back here, these pears, they're on a standard rootstock. These trees could get to 40 feet tall. My persimmons, I guess, could get to 40 feet tall. But I think the pear is probably going to grow a lot quicker than the persimmons. So these, these pears, I'm going to put them in the back. If the sun starts over here and basically makes its way all the way over to you guys, then I want the largest tree in the back. Pretty simple. So that's all I'm doing today, guys. I'm just making sure that my trees are in the right spot, putting things in the ground that I need to put in the ground, uh, mulching everything, and it's really that simple. I'm not going to water this. Um, you know, I'm not really even going to care for this. I'm going to literally let these things do, do their thing for a whole year. And then maybe next, this time next year, I'll come back, see how my trees are doing, and I can maybe make some cuts. But other than that, that's really it. It's really that simple, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, that was planting persimmons, and we also are gonna plant some pears. And I'm gonna do it the same way. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.